Hi everyone, I am Nimi Melvin here from Nimi Sir. Today we are going to do this beautiful painting and I will show you how to do this with simple basic shapes and some layering and blending techniques in acrylic. So let's start. The materials needed for this session are canvas or any thick paper, some brushes, some acrylic paints, pencil, eraser and palette for mixing the colors and a cup of water. So let's start from here. And I'm going to draw a big oval shape. Almost like two inch or one and a half inch width. And after that, I'm going to cut this into two with a diagonal line. And from this line, I'm going to draw a triangle kind of shape for the chin. So this sides of the triangle is curved. Another big a rectangle like a trapezoid like shape it's slightly curved at the end and a big long line another trapezoid with the curves on the sides and a big long rectangle shape for the hand and you can add one curve for the neck now we can add small rectangle like shape for the hand and then two rectangle shape for the leg and after that you can add an oval shape for the hair on this line closer to this right side you have to draw the ear and on the line you can add the eyelash and from the here you can draw another curve and it's going a little bit outside the that circle so it's going to be the line for the hair behind the ear we can draw another curve again it is connecting with the circle so we have almost completed the drawing we can add one slanting line it's going to be the stem of the rose And we can draw another line inside the ear and a small curve here for the details of the ear and you can erase the line that is connecting with the hair so this much is enough you can stop the line here and we can do the background details now I'm going to draw another line on the side of the canvas and then you can add lots of circles for the flower And we can draw some ovals and circles for the clothes. So the sides have mostly ovals and the front of the dress has more circles. And some stripes on the top part of the cloth. And you can see I have taken some white, orange and lemon in it. So I'm going to mix a skin tone for this little girl with some orange white and a tiny bit of yellow so if you already have a skin tone in your set you can directly take that paint So if you finish that, you can take a smaller thin brush and make some dark tone. Maybe you can add some more orange, yellow, maybe you can add a little bit of Bernsie in it. Bernsie is lighter brown. And take a small brush and you can just do an outline of this color. I'm 
adding more dark on the left side for the shadow it's just not thin line it's kind of more shadow and i'm softening the edge by blending into the light tone so here again more dark tone of the brown plus skin tone So we have completed the skin tones. Now we can color the hair. I washed my brush and wiped with paper towel. Now I'm going to take burnt umber, a dark brown color for the hair. So I'm going to completely fill the space with burnt umber. You can add more layers of the brown tone and make the right side darker. So I'm mixing some white and black together and we're getting a lighter gray tone with less black and more white. And this is going to be the shadow color for the clothes. So we can just do an outline with this color and then we will do the in their area with the white. So I have finished the outlining. Now I'm going to take white and I'm going to fill the space. We can do a little bit of shadow on the sides, especially on this right side of the hand. And here the flower, okay, so we're going to draw a rose here. So that also will make a shadow just beneath it. You can do some, some random lines the shadows on the hand now I'm going to apply a color for the background one layer for the background so this is a viridian green you can see the color it is kind of a bluish green and I'm adding some burnt sienna into it so we're getting a dark olive green kind of color I'm making a thin layer for the background Use a small brush, thin brush for the sides of the face so we will not lose any details. Now we can take some burnt umber and do a thin small dot inside ear and some hair and down like this some random lines okay wavy lines for the hair so use a small brush for this you can add one more dark tone for the hair and also we can do some highlights with white and some burnt sienna. You can add some orange also into it. So orange plus burnt sienna plus white. Just some highlights. Some random lines, curved lines for the hair. And you can take this light brown shade for the shadow for the hand. So the legs. Now I'm going to take this background color one more time. So burnt sienna plus green. And we can add some strokes, brush strokes for the leaves.
now i'm going to mix a color like a grayish brownish tone with the white something like the color of the concrete in dark color for this base and it is darker than the color of the clothes and just more into brown tone it's a more dark tone with these two color and add some shadows like with lines so we can add some white to make lighter tones horizontal strokes mostly now i'm going to take some color for the flowers around it so we need some red or pink color and take some white and make sure your brush is clean without any green or black and add some white into it just a little bit of white so not too much these are going to be little flowers on the background Our background is still wet, but it's okay. You can just do that. Actually, that green in the background is is mixing with the flower, and we're getting a nice tone. And move your brush in circles. And you can use the same color for the small rose flower in her hand. So the color I'm using is primary red from this Liquitex basic set. And you can do a small, small, small lines for the shadow of these flowers, all the flowers. Now I'm taking this dark green color from the background and I'm adding some water and I'm making a thin line for the stem. And with one leaf. So we can make some darker gray with black and a little bit of white. And this is kind of a charcoal color. And this is the color we are using for the patterns on the clothes. And if you want to go into more detail, you can make a lighter version of this gray and you can do this one on all the lighter areas of the cloth. We can make some light tones for the flower, so more lighter pink. We can do some stalks on these flowers. Now I'm going to take a lighter tones of green by adding some yellow ochre and mix it into the the background color we have some leaves like stalks into the background
and some darkest tone for the hair. So we have some burnt umber and black together. I'm using my small brush, thin heat drilling brush, and just do some shadows for the hair. orange plus brown also for the lights. I'm taking some orange and white for the pink cheeks. Last thing I'm taking a small brush and a black line for the eyelash. Maybe where I can add some lines also for the stem. So more brown plus green and some random lines here and there. So I have completed my painting and you can see I have added lots of details into the background and also for the clothes and skin tones. So if you keep adding more layers and if you spend more time on the painting, it will look better. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. So we'll see you.